In this video, I'm going to teach you one of the most important tips in Madden 22 for beating 30-yard cloud flats or 25-yard cloud flats whenever your opponent wants to double Mabel. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. And today, we're going to be talking about a concept out of the Detroit Lions playbook, and it is the PA Shot Post. Now, really, really important, what I want to start with is by showing you that I've got my clouds set to 30 here in practice mode. And then also on offense, I'm going to sub in um, Marquez Valdez Scantling at this slot position. And you're going to see how he's going to run this crossing route. Um, so again, we're just going to come out and play PA shot post, real simple. And this play last, last year more so than this year was really good at beating 30-yard clouds. And so I figured if I was trying to beat 30-yard clouds, this would be a good place to start in Trips Tied In. Now, if you want to get my full Trips Tied In ebook, there's a link in the description to join my Patreon. You get all my ebooks all year and any updates to those ebooks. We release updates every single week to the membership. So if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description. It'll keep you on top of everything you need to know about Madden. So I think it's a real great deal, only $10 a month. We've already got over 20 ebooks in the membership that you'll get immediate access to. And again, you're going to get all the updates and any new ebooks as well. So this crosser to MVS here, what we're going to do is we're just going to motion Lazard to the right. We're going to put him on a streak. So he's going to clear out all of the deep zones. And then we're relying on the crosser to get super deep so that it can get over the top of a 30. Now to get over the top of the 30, you kind of need to get to about the 40 on that side of the field. So what we're going to do here is you're going to see how Lazard runs this route and you're going to notice that he does not really get there. In fact, he even stops in the middle of the field and it's just not a great deal. Now I'm gonna show it to you one more time. Um, and, and, and I'm gonna show it to you one more time here and I want you just to notice how deep he runs. So we're just gonna get the backside receiver on just a simple five yard in just to kind of help with this. But again, what you're gonna notice is this, this crosser um, is not going to get over the top. You see he's going to stop right there. You might be able to throw it like there, but it's really not that good of a route. Now, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to take Jair out because he does have an ability that's going to cause him to randomly knock the ball out. So I'm just going to put him on the other side um, just so that we can kind of see um, you know, what it would be like if they just had simply you know, Acrobat or Pick Artist or something, which is normally what they have. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna jump into, into coaching real quick just to show you this. This is really important. It's been important in Madden pretty much as long as I've been playing. But when you run these deep crossing routes, deep post routes, all of those things, you see MBS here has 81 route running. Well, Devontae Adams is 97 medium route running, but most importantly, 94 deep. So he's over the threshold of 90. And what that's gonna do is it's going to change how he runs the crossing route. So, you're going to see I'm going to put Adams here now and put Scantling there and run the same exact play with the same exact adjustments defensively. And you'll notice that this uh, crosser is going to get significantly deeper down the field. So again, same exact adjustments. Backside, we're going to run a five yard in. Motion this guy over on a streak. And what you'll notice is this crosser, if you watch it, he's going to run super deep now. And I could just simply pass lead that up and you see the cloud dumb out and look how far I got up the field. I got all the way to the other team's 35 yard line. This is also something you can do. Let's say they're baselining and pressing. Um, this is a popular adjustment that I see a lot. That's why I like to motion this guy over because let's say they're using a quarter zone instead of a cloud to try to stop your crosser. Those are the two main things that people are gonna do. Well, what you're gonna notice here is obviously we could roll out of course, but see how easy that quarter is cleared out and I can still throw this over the top. Again, right at about the 40 yard to 30 or 45 yard uh, depth. And this is going to allow me to consistently beat crossers over the top. Now, notice also that I am on the left hash running this play. Um, in, in my opinion, this works, this concept works best when your trips is to the short side of the field because it gives more space for this crosser to run. So again, you just wait on it, wait on it, pass it up once you see him come inside and you're gonna throw it right at that point. And sometimes he'll run it really good and sometimes he'll run it kind of okay. But again, 
I'm gonna show you now to this side. If I were to run the same concept over here, what you're gonna see is against the 30 yard cloud, I'm gonna struggle a little bit because again, I'm not, I don't have the same amount of space uh, to be able to get this over the top. Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible, but really what you wanna be ideally is you wanna run the crosser just outside of the numbers. So the fact that I'm just inside the numbers can be pr uh, problematic for me. So again, you'll see here, and he actually runs this kind of good, but you see that that's a click on pick, as you can see right there. It's just, it's just not enough horizontal room uh, to be able to throw that uh, consistently against this coverage. So what you can do is just simply flip your play. So if I run this crosser to the opposite side, I actually think it's a little bit better on this side, but what you'll see here, now I'm throwing at Jair, so you know if he knocks it out, it is what it is. But again, just in route MVS, streak Lazard. And this is a cool thing that you can max protect. And what you'll see, that time he didn't do great, but you see, I mean, see what I'm saying? So I mean, it kind of gets over the top. It just, it's just a little, um, it is a little bit close closer on this side but it's primarily due to the fact that again if they get bumped randomly that can kind of like there's some variables with this but by and large um most people are gonna run 25 yard clouds too by the way um just because that's what just most people do what you might consider doing on on this is again just using the in route or using the backside dig i like the 10 yard dig um but it's real simple i mean you just roll out you're looking at your in route if their user stays up top um, and then you see here I could pass like that up but on this side it you know it's not it's not as good um, as it is to the opposite side and I think that's more just up with the low the, one of the real underrated um, one of the real underrated things in this game is locomotion and really how the players move is like super super underrated so that's just something you need to be aware of. If you're on this hash mark, I have another setup that I like to go to to get over the top of 30 yard clouds. But this play still can work, and I'll show it one more time here. And and again, just kind of bear with the reality that, you know, again, if he has 95 deep route running, he's going to do just a little bit better of a job at running this route and getting over the top. Again, just wait on it. See, there he sucks in, and you see that I can kind of get that over the top. So. That's the beauty of the concept, um, and it works. It works a lot better on the opposite hash. Um, it just, and again, it comes down to the way the players move. For whatever reason, the orientation shifts when you shift hashes. So that's another reason why you know to you know it used to be kind of like common thought to run your trips to the wide side of the field. Now, you know, it, you, you can run your trips to different sides. But as you can see, he sucks in. When he sucks in, there it is. So as soon as that corner sucks inside, what you want to do, and I'll show it to you one more time here, but what you want to do whenever the corner sucks inside is you want to throw the ball with a pass lead to the left. And this is really good with this little underneath in route to Gato Scantling because he kind of pulls the zones in, and then you have – of course your crosser so it's going to look covered and then he's going to suck inside right there sucks inside pass it up and you see i can kind of get over the top of that of course if they don't if they have deep out zone ko it's going to be a little bit more difficult but that's the idea of the play so that's how you get over the top of 30 yard clouds it's not going to work as good out of pa counter go it does kind of work out of pa counter go but it's much better out of PA shot post because again, you want your crosser to be just outside the numbers for it to work best. I wanna thank you for watching the video. If you wanna learn the rest of this offense, be sure to join my Patreon. There's a link in the description below and I'm actually putting together a massive revamped version of this offense that I have so far, I think over 20 pages of route combos that you can do from trip side in that is absolutely insane, giving you some really, really in-depth stuff. So I would really encourage you to sign up for it, even if it's just for this month, because you're gonna be getting some really good stuff in there. Uh, there's a link in the description if you wanna sign up, and it's only 10 bucks to do that. Thanks for watching the video, and if you wanna check out the membership, head on down to the description and click the link.